Hi friends, good to see you all. My name is Little Denise, and I'm here today to discuss using speech recognition within Denise Legacy software. Denise Legacy comes with a local embedded speech recognition system. This is great because it does not need an internet connection to work, differently from most existing systems, and everything happens on your computer. Working locally, you will instantly get recognition from your speech because it does not rely on a server or your internet connection speech. Other great features are, the more you talk to Denise, the better the recognition becomes. Soon you will be able to add custom words vocabulary and adapt the system to your voice and accent. You can dictate not only to Denise but also to any other application installed on your computers like Microsoft Word, Notepad, Excel, web browser forms, and any application or software that you would typically have to type a text. Transcribe dictation from an audio file. Soon, command any Windows application and navigate web pages using voice. Isn't that all so cool? You would typically have to spend a lot of O money with other applications or services to do the same. But let's cut to the chase and check how all this works in Denise Legacy. When you run Denise Legacy for the first time, you need to read a text to train your voice before using speech recognition. Click in the upper left menu icon to open the configuration menu. Click on the dictation option. Choose the type of microphone you have installed on your computer from the dictation source list box. If you are not sure, select the first option. Pick your region using the second list box. If you are not an English native speaker, select one option from the accent list box. Click on the click here to start button to commence the training. Your system may freeze for a few seconds until the check microphone windows show up. At this moment, let's double click on Denise's face to minimize her. Sorry, sister. You can have more than one microphone option to choose from. Give preference for an external or headset microphone as embedded laptop or web camera microphones are not the best choices, by the way. The quality of your microphone is a crucial aspect of achieving the best possible speech recognition results. Please check the FAQ section of Denise's website for some good microphone suggestions. Click Next to continue. In this window, you will receive some tips on your microphone's best position. Don't worry if you don't own a headset model, as today there are many excellent external microphones available. At this point, the Windows system may show you an error message reporting that it cannot control your device. No problem. Just click OK and continue. This will not affect the recognition system. Click in the start volume check and read the text. You will hear a beep when finished. If you don't listen to it, you may need to reposition your microphone and avoid background noise. If you cannot pass this section, you will probably need a better microphone. Click next to the next step. The recognition system will now test your sound system for any issues. Read the indicated text until you hear another beep. Everything went okay. You will see the past message in the black box. Click finish to step to the next phase. You will read a few sentences so the recognition system can adapt to your voice and create a user profile. Finally, some read options will show up for you to choose from. This reading takes around five to 10 minutes and will only be necessary once. This will significantly improve the quality and accuracy of your voice recognition. After reading the selected text, Denise will create your user profile with the data and voice parameters from your voice. Unlike most of the available voice assistants, all your voice data is saved locally on your computer, assuring no one but you will have access to that. We at NextOS care a lot about your privacy, and that's why everything you do and say to the Denise system is saved locally and never sent to any external server. Now Denise will inform you that she can listen to you, and everything you say will be converted to text into Denise's chat box or any external application. I will explain this last feature in a while. Denise is now ready to listen and talk to you. Check the little circle icon color. If it's green, Denise is listening to you. If it's red, the speech recognition is disabled, and if it's blue, Denise is not listening, but she's waiting for the key phrase wake up to resume listening to you. Speak go to sleep to temporarily disable speech recognition. Wake up. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you quite clearly, Guile. What time is it? It's 17 past 8. Time for a small break. 
What is today's date? Today is February 2nd, 2022. How are you feeling today? I am fine, thank you, Guile. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. You are welcome, and I'm very glad to hear that. Go to sleep. Entering sleep mode. Say wake up to start recognition. Wake up. I can hear you. One of the great features of Denise's speech recognition system is the ability to speak to any other application you have on your computer. For instance, let's speak something into Notepad. To do so, open Notepad and with the green light on in Denise's chat, click in the Notepad text area and start speaking. To start speaking to another application, just click on it and start speaking. Next paragraph. All your speech is converted to text in real time with no delay. New line. And this is because everything happens on your computer. New line. This is really great. I can use my voice to speak to any application on my computer. Period. Next paragraph. I really like it. Next paragraph. See you soon, my friends. Wow. Even I get amazed with what my older sister can do. So this is all for today, folks. Hope you liked it. Soon we will release the advanced tutorial for Denise's speech recognition engine. Thank you for being here and see you all soon.